Hi, I'm Jennifer Ferguson, owner of Artistic Painting Studio, and I have been in the decorative arts for the past 30 years, playing, learning, and teaching. And today I'm here to show you how to use our um, decorative art rollers called Foey Rollers and Texture Medium. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing I just want to tell you about is our Texture Medium, which is the product we're going to be rolling through. And this product is under my label called Artsyville Embellishments, and it's just called Texture Medium. Um, it's a great product to roll through. It's easy to apply to the surface um, and just a great medium to work with. Um, it won't get too brittle. It's great on furniture, cabinetry, walls, just about anything you want to work on. Uh, we're also going to be using um, one of the Foey rollers, and this is the crocodile pattern. We actually have over 40 different patterns available, so you can look through all of these on our website at artisticpaintingstudio.com. Okay, I'm going to reposition the camera down here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to be starting with just a um, sample board, okay, and I've painted it dark so you can see the contrast and you'll be able to see the pattern roll through it. It's not necessary to paint your background um, a dark color. You can also use any kind of scrap wood or anything to create a sample and kind of just play. Um, to start with here, we are going to grab some of this wonderful product called Texture Medium. And I'm going to be using one of my little mini trowels, which is wonderful to work with on any kind of a small surface. Um, I'm just going to grab some of this material and put it on the edge of the trowel. And then just spread it onto the surface, okay? Now, I like to keep my product thin, somewhere between an eighth of an inch to a sixteenth of an inch. But um, if you want to use it thicker and create something that's really deep and dimensional, by all means, um, have at it, okay? <laughs> uh, the only kind of reasons, okay, there's something here that's creating a, a mark. Okay, let's get rid of it. Um, one of the, there's a couple of reasons I like to keep it thin. For one, uh, one of them is the fact that uh, it doesn't have to be thick to be able to show the print. Um, two, it will save you material if you keep it thinner. And three, you'll have less sanding in the end. Okay, so I've got it on here. Um, and this is somewhere probably close to an eighth of an inch thick. Uh, so it's ready to roll through. Um, you don't have to panic and worry about trying to get too fast. This product will stay open for a while, so you've got some working time. Okay, before you start to roll, it's always great to spin the head and just make sure that it's rolling uh, free on the handle. If not, um, you can always pull the handle off and just lube it with either some cooking spray or Vaseline or anything that you have, but you really want to make sure that um, it's just rolling free, okay, or spinning free. <laughs> and then I'm just lining the pattern up on the edge of my sample board, and I'm just going to roll right through. Now, as I'm rolling through, you can hear that noise, which means the product is kind of just peaking up a little bit. And then all I'm going to do is just kind of eyeball uh, where the pattern ends and where it starts again on the roller and just roll right next to it. So I don't, I don't try to line things up perfect. I just go for it. Um, so once you've rolled through, I'm going to see if I can lift this up and let you guys see that really well. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Um, all of these designs are so much fun to work with, and this again is called the crocodile print. Um, so if you can see, maybe if I get a little bit of an angle here, you might be able to see how the um, texture has peaked just a little bit, which means just the edges as the roller rolls through it is kind of just pulling it up. Um, those we will sand off once it's dry. So I'm gonna put this one to the side here while it's having an opportunity to dry. See if I can move this out of my way. And then here is the sample I did earlier that is already dry. So basically, I always tell people to maybe just go ahead and fill it with your hand. And if there's anything that feels really rough, then just either grab a sanding block or some sandpaper. Um, I do recommend going outside and then just go out there and sand off all those highs. Um, how smooth you sand it is truly a personal preference. Um, I just like to try to get off those areas that feel really rough to touch and leave the rest of the texture. Uh, maybe if 
I'm doing like a, um, a tabletop, a coffee table or something like that, I might sand it down a little bit smoother. You're not gonna lose your print, but it will definitely keep it a more smooth surface. So once you have done all your sanding, then it's just a matter of whatever else you wanna do um, as far as the finish goes. Um, so here, this one was just painted with a metallic silver. And then I'm also gonna share with you one of my completed drawers. Um, this also was painted in metallic silver and then I think we put a black glaze over the front of it. So it's just a drawer front. Um, but this is a great way to create on your furniture, your cabinetry. Um, there's just so many options. Also, you can definitely do your walls. So uh, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have questions, you're always welcome to contact us here at artisticpaintingstudio.com. Thank you.